my channel it's your girl chef rambo today we're going to be making some homemade sweet chili hot honey hot salmon sticks let's go ahead and get into it you're going to need two eggs garlic powder creole seasoning old bay onion powder white pepper there's some parsley flakes in the back you're gonna need honey, you're gonna need some sweet chili sauce, you're gonna need hot sauce, you're gonna also make sure you get you two pounds of salmon, okay? And you're gonna need Andy's fish breading, Cajun and yellow, I like to mix them together cause I'm extra like that, okay? So you wanna make sure you get you some Andy's and please make sure you get you at least two pounds of fresh salmon, all right? and gotta have some oil to fry it in. I'm using canola oil and I don't have buttermilk, you guys. So I'm gonna use some heavy whipping cream as our base. And we're gonna let our salmon stick sit in the base for a little bit before we put it in the refrigerator. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go. Here's all the ingredients. And you know I'm gonna have everything in the description box for y'all. All right, y'all. So we're gonna start off with one egg and then we're gonna add a second egg and we're gonna use some of that heavy whipping cream. This is gonna act as the buttermilk, even though I ain't got the buttermilk, okay? We're gonna throw in about 20 drops of hot sauce, make it a little spicy, you feel me? We're gonna season it up with some onion powder because that's my favorite seasoning. We got some Creole seasoning because that's also my favorite seasoning. And we got some Old Bay. We gotta use Old Bay anytime we use the seafood. We got some white pepper up in that thing and we got some garlic powder because we can't have onion powder without garlic powder. And we're just gonna add a little bit of parsley flakes for color and because we fancy, not because they have a flavor, okay? So we're just gonna add in all of our seasonings. And you guys, this meal was phenomenal. I actually seen this meal on TikTok. I seen it on Instagram, it's on Facebook. Um, some people just like the honey hot salmon sticks, but I really did not want this to be super, super spicy because of my kids. So I added sweet chili to kind of balance out the hot flavor. So my salmon sticks are honey hot or sweet chili honey hot salmon sticks. Or you can say it backwards. A girl don't even, boy girl, it don't even really matter, okay? They fired, they good. Y'all, this was like one of those viral recipes and I'm like, hell yeah, this is good. I'm definitely gonna make this again, y'all. So all I'm doing is adding in just a tad more bit hot sauce and stirring everything up and getting it well ready and a little bit more seasonings because <laughs> your girl loves flavor, okay. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And yes, I'm using a plastic fork, do not judge me. So this is our 2.13 pounds of salmon. It is so beautiful, nice and clean, little filet. Ooh, it looks so good. We're gonna go ahead and cut these into one inch strips. You can really do an inch and a half or so, like this. This is really like an inch and a half. It's really closer probably to two inches, especially that middle piece. But yeah, you wanna do about an inch and a half, you guys, and they should look like this. I went ahead and cut them all up and it should give you about 10 to 15 salmon sticks, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, salmon sticks back into the egg and seasoning and heavy whipping cream mixture since we do not have buttermilk, but it's all good in the hood. Look, at, look when, you, when, when you a cook, you gotta adapt and you gotta adjust and sometimes you just gotta, gotta use what's around, okay? So we're just mixing it up, and then we are gonna actually put this in the refrigerator, you guys, for one to two hours. You could also do overnight as well, but I'm only gonna do about two hours, okay? So we have our yellow fish breading batter from Andy's. Go ahead and pour the whole package in there. And then now we're gonna go ahead and add the Cajun fish breading from Andy's. And you're also gonna use the whole container. You want to make sure you have an even amount of both. Now we're just going to throw in just a little bit of salt because as you guys know, when you fry food, it loses some of its seasoning. So we're just going to throw in just a little bit of salt like that, all right? Not too much, nothing else. Andy's is freaking all you need, okay? They put so much seasonings up in that thing, honey. You don't need a whole lot, all right? So after our delicious salmon, has soaked in this mixture for a few hours we're gonna go ahead and batter it with our Andes and let me tell y'all something okay 
These little salmon sticks kind of turn more into salmon bites because as y'all know, it's a very delicate fish. You, you have to almost like handle it like really carefully and it's really easy to like break apart and like fall apart. So just make sure you don't get upset if your sticks are more like bites or nuggets because it's really hard to keep that full composure you know because it's such a delicate fish so don't beat yourselves up about it okay because i kind of did even when i was flipping them i'm like dang my little piece of fish is breaking apart i'm sad but then i realized this fish is so delicate it's gonna break apart anyways so it's all good i got a couple sticks for my video so <laughs> i'm happy but yeah we're just gonna drop a few in the oil and just continue to repeat the process i always like to test out one before i add the others just to see if I need to make any adjustments. But this little piece was gorgeous. As you see, it's super flimsy. So just be very careful, you guys. Even if you just use a spoon or a fork, I mean, they're still gonna fall apart, but it's all good, it's all good. So how have you guys been? I have been trying to give you guys a lot more videos, a lot more footage. I'm gonna do a better job of posting. I'm gonna go into 22, 2022 a lot more um, excited to post videos for you guys because I love all of you guys so much. Y'all support me through thick and thin and I just love all of my subscribers, okay? So yes. So the first batch is done. We went ahead and drained it and now we're gonna add the second batch. Oh my gosh, y'all, my freaking kitchen smells so good. My kids were so excited to eat these. Ooh, nice and crispy. So let's go ahead and get started on our sauce. You're gonna need about two tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're gonna do two cups of the sweet chili sauce. You can add more as you need, or you can add less. Um, I should have just used the whole bottle, but I didn't want it to be super sweet chili. I wanted it to be like half and half. So I'm gonna add one full cup of honey. This is just to help balance the sweet chili, because even though sweet chili is sweet, it's also kind of hot. So we're gonna add in just a couple of drops of hot sauce, maybe about 20 to 25 drops. Um, I know when you cook it down, it's gonna lose a lot of its heat, but I just, I really didn't want these to be like buffalo salmon tenders or buffalo salmon sticks. Like I wanted them to have the honey and the sweet aspect because everything I cook is hot, okay? So all I'm doing is just adding in some more hot sauce, some more sweet chili sauce, cooking it down a little bit so we can remove some of that spice but we still wanna keep it spicy, but we don't want the whole thing to just taste like spice, all right? So boom, we are ready to start pouring our sauce on top of our delicious salmon sticks. They look marvelous. I'm so freaking excited to eat this. Ah! So yeah, this is how they look. The sauce is really, really hot. So I would recommend y'all wait in about five minutes before you pour it on top, honey, but I couldn't wait. I could not wait. I was hungry, I hadn't ate all day. I was so ready to dig into these things and tear these things up, y'all, for real, for real. So, look, if you don't got time to wait, don't feel bad, okay? You just finna have some some very hot tenders, but they gonna, I mean, salmon sticks, but they gonna be fine. They gonna be busting. They gonna be good. You heard me? You heard me. Okay. Excuse my horrible antics. Y'all know I talk too much. But, yes, y'all, look at them. Sweet chili honey hot salmon sticks. I loved these so much. They're so beautiful. They're not too spicy, um, but they're not too sweet either. They don't have that overly sweet taste. They're, it's like just the right amount, okay? So let's go ahead and dig into these things. Look how beautiful that fish looks on the inside. Nice and whitish pink. Oh my gosh, stop playing with her. Stop playing with her. Y'all know everything I touched turned to gold. Look at them honey hot salmon sticks. And I made some homemade mashed potatoes and some asparagus on the side, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I love y'all. Leave me a comment.